Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Squadcast, where we continue our discussion of all things E3. We're going to jump right into Bethesda um, because holy crap. You know, we knew yeah. Bethesda was going to carry the showcase and holy crap, they did carry opening up with Starfield. I'm a sci-fi nerd. What were your thoughts on Starfield? Uh, I, I like this game. I've been playing No Man's Sky since the beginning and Starfield feels like it's going to be almost like a scripted, polished version of that. The fact that they showed like all these different worlds that you can, or they're, they're talking about how there's all these different worlds that you can explore and like the level of detail that's going to be put into this game. It just makes me so excited because we haven't had like a definitive space game yet. They, mm -hmm. Like there isn't one space game where everyone's like, so far it's been Mass Effect, really. But yeah. then like other than that, like there hasn't been something that's captured every kind of space fan, and I'm hoping that Starfield does it. The game just looks yeah. beautiful. Yeah, go ahead, Steve. No, I was just gonna say I think as a as a tone piece, this trailer was yeah. really good. It kind of just established a lot. I don't think it did anything for my hype levels, to be honest. Oh, I mean, really? it's still so far away. Yeah. Well, because it's already up there. I mean, I, I really enjoy Elder Scrolls and Far uh, and, and Fallout. So going into this, like, I knew I was going to play Starfield regardless. So just to see a bit of it, cool. Um, I do like the the art piece that they've released with the game. It, it yeah. really uh, smacks of like Star Wars, which, I mean, if you're going to go sci-fi, go with Star Wars as some sort of inspiration. But yeah, I thought. It was a big shame to see that the Washington Post leaked the release date like 45 minutes before. That, that yeah, like, that really I sucks for the that. teams. Everyone, everyone yeah. involved, yeah. man. Like that sucks. But yeah, I, really I'm great. Glad at least I'm glad at least it was the first thing. They exactly. And I was gonna. And I was gonna say like really great for them to come out because of this new partnership and acquisition between Xbox and and uh, Bethesda to come out have Starfield as the first thing and then have Todd Howard come out right away. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a really cool cool way to start the presentation. Yeah, and I agree with to what Steve said too. Is like this was cool. Like I was really mad when I initially watched it because I was like I. <laughs> I'm already going to play this game. Like, give me more. And then, like, for a release date, almost, like, over... It's a year and a half out. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like, uh, but, like, it, I'm going to be excited for it because I have full faith that they're going to release it on time. I don't think that there's a world where Bethesda delays a game. Mm. Okay. All right. And not, at least not like that. Okay. Caboose? Yeah. I mean, uh, like I said earlier, I'm looking forward to it, but it's, like, Bethesda games aren't necessarily my cup of tea. So... Yeah. I mean, we'll see. I mean, it's it's going to be on Game Pass, so, like, I could just try it. And if I don't like it, then oh well. But if I do, then great. Mm -hmm. Just take advantage of that service. Well, uh, let's talk about another game that may be um, up your alley. Uh, Redfall. Yeah. I, they, they, that was this the is Arcane and Bethesda uh, coming together to create this game. And it's kind of like a, a I don't, it's, it's like a they're vampires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know vampire hunters and stuff. I mean, it sounds like a cool concept. It's just for me, I think what what bugged me a bit about this game is that this was supposed to be the game that like ends the show, you know, and it didn't feel like it was that kind of really game. not to knock arcane um, but like i don't know just for me like a cgi trailer for a brand new ip where we don't really know what's going on or what's really happening doesn't get me as hyped like like i feel like maybe their showstopper their big end of the show announcement should have been starfield if anything um mm. like start off with something like redfall a brand new game everyone's tuning in getting all excited they hear about this new game they want to learn mm. more rather than okay what's the what's the finale what's the grand finale to the xbox showcase oh it's this game i know nothing about and it doesn't even include any gameplay you know mm -hmm. that's fair um i think I, I agree with you for the most part with the exception of you know everyone knew starfield was going to be there so it, for it to be the final thing the well one last thing doesn't really speak to me at least I, I really liked Redfall only because knowing what Arcane has done in the past, Prey, Dishonored, like they're coming in with like a lot of, uh, you know, 
baggage from from their catalog so mm. th- this was really impressive to me but i can totally see you know what you're saying as it being a a new ip and it just not really speaking to someone because it's yeah. just a cg trailer it's just a tone piece just kind of like setting the world but yeah i thought it was a great way to end the conference personally but i, I see it from the other side as well yeah and also too like when you look at arcane and their character design each character is so meticulously yes. done. Like when you look at Dishonored 2, the difference mm-hmm. between, I can't remember the main character's name, but then Emily, like right. the difference in, they have the same like power source, but their powers are completely different. Yes. That's what makes me excited about these different characters. And honestly, Caboose, I'm going to say as a Starfield fan, if that was the trailer that I got at the end of the press conference, I would have been livid. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> w- they would have made- Really? So many, yeah, they would have made so many fans, especially yeah. with the release date leaking and uh, barely get anything it's like okay cool you give me a release date and then like a, a kind of crappy trailer like and I, maybe it, yeah you can do that for elder scrolls but not for a new ip well maybe because of the leak they switched it last minute possibly yeah because also it, i want it does think? make sense it does make sense to have starfield last you know um and yeah. it is so far away why would you open with starfield it kind of seems like it was switched last minute to just be like we're getting the rumors out of the way it's it's here fair that's that's a that's a good possibility one thing i do want to point out we're all wrong it's not the last announcement the last announcement was the mini mini fridge fridge, yes oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) the mini fridge was the last announcement and it was the best one but you know speaking of last announcements they kind of did also because through the showcase i'm like okay are we like what's happening perfect dark like what's right what's happening here but they did that montage todd gave an update that like everything's still coming along um, with all these various mm. games. So for me, Redfall was actually, I think we're so used to having like that title that will like kind of get our nostalgia or like give us more mm-hmm. information um, on a title that we've seen revealed previously, where I kind of like going this route where it is a new P to pique our curiosity into what this is, right? Like this is an open world mm. co-op shooter with a multiplayer experience and like seeing the powers that these characters have, I could completely see a multiplayer off of this. Um, obviously seeing gameplay and how they um, kind of roll out the mechanics for that would be cool, but I'm really interested to learn more. It keeps me wanting more. So I think it works well for the last uh, trailer of the showcase. Mm. Yeah. And it, it, I, I think that that's going to be a fun game. I, I don't yeah. think that uh, anyone should doubt the capability of that. Was there anything else from Bethesda that you guys want to talk about before we move on? Yeah, I got I got one thing. All right, we got to talk about Fallout seventy six because this is a game that just needs to die. Uh, like, yeah. I, I'm sorry, but there is only so much you can do within the Fallout universe. Stop wasting good stories and good set pieces on Fallout seventy six. I know that they want to make this game successful, but I don't think it's going to be. The only reason is because I don't think that Fallout has enough of a dedicated fan base as Elder Scrolls does. And I think that they want to model Fallout seventy six after Elder Scrolls Online, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, and also, too, Elder Scrolls that universe is an infinitely deep like well of content you can Mm -hmm. you can create stories forever from that world um and kind of we had this discussion me and steve kind of had this discussion um in one of our chats before but sometimes players gamers play a game because it's all that they have at the moment not Mm -hmm. because they enjoy it Mm -hmm. and when they made that announcement of fallout 76 has millions of active players how many of those active players play consistently, have played over 10 hours, and then actively consistently enjoy that game? Because yeah. from what I've seen with streams, it doesn't seem to be the case all, the, all that much. Well, I think it's a niche audience there. And I agree with you, though. I feel like when that trailer was first revealed, I'm like, oh, it's a new Fallout game. Hell no. No, it's an update for freaking 76. So I think also for the fans that kind of lost faith in the series and, you know, the franchise, then they they just want to see a new Fallout, um, you know, go back to the olden days. So it'll be interesting when they reveal that. Definitely wasn't this year, um, but... Good luck, Bethesda. You're doing other things that are great. 